just like all our other Bona waterborne sealers and finishes, we do test it to be freeze thaw stable. Best practice though is always to avoid storing any of your waterborne type products, really even solvent based products in extreme temperatures, whether that's you know freezing or below or too hot for extended periods. Regardless of what product it is, always bring it in and acclimate it to your job site, you know, somewhere between 65 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And a lot of guys also take the extra step of, uh, again, if you do work in some extreme climates, when you're transporting the product to your job site, stick it in a cooler um, just to help insulate it from any of those extreme hot, cold temperatures. Uh, and that should help protect your product uh, and set you up for good success with it. So again, treat it like a frozen sealer or water-based finish. Uh, we want to avoid agitation while it's frozen or even semi-frozen because those ice crystals inside can do the damage of cutting certain components apart. So place it either on the shelf or in the job site somewhere where it's not going to be picked up and, and shaken or agitated while it's thawing all the way down to room temperature. And then anytime that something like that happens to your product, I would test it out. So just watch it. Uh, you think it's okay, but then while you're stirring the Part B additive into it, if you see anything kind of funky happen there or when you first apply it to the floor, uh, if it seems like you've got just you know way too much foam that's going away or it's not forming a good film or not forming a nice even color, you may have had some damage. If something like that happens, it may have been damaged during the freeze thaw uh, stages. So take the product out, uh, remix one that wasn't frozen and continue on from there. Uh, because of that self water popping effect from Bonacroma, you're going to get a similar effect on all species. Now on the ones that are traditionally a little more difficult to stain, um, like maple, pine, uh, hickory, uh, it's going to be similar to using a solvent-based stain. It may be a little more uh, splotchy or blotchy or whatever you want to call it. Um, that self-popping effect that Bonacroma has is definitely going to help that. But that may be a case where you actually want to pre-pop those floors with regular water ahead of time. That may help even more, give you a, an even more consistent, even coloration than just relying on the Bonacroma itself.